come with something to do on Killer Labs Brut BCAA. This is an extreme anabolic formula. It's an intra workout and all day amino acid recovery supplement. We are going to go over the ingredients. We'll go over the breakdown of each of the ingredients, tell you what they do and the dosages of them. We'll go over effects. Uh, we'll cover flavors, uh, taste mixability, definitely, since this is a high consumption sort of product. Um, we'll cover value for money. And then I'll give you my personal feedback on the product as well. So let's jump straight into it. On the screen now, you're going to see one of these, a nutritional information panel for this here, Killer Labs Brut BCAA. Each top has 60 serves, each serve is 7.5 grams. Um, this is a pretty transparent label, but it does have a bit of an amino blend in the top. Um, the guys at Killer Labs were kind enough to hook us up with some info on the breakdown of ingredients, so we've got a pretty good idea of what's in it. Starting off with the BCAA Recovery Complex, 6,000 milligrams or 6 grams which is primarily branched-chain amino acid. So leucine, isoleucine, and valine in a 2-1-1 ratio. So in this product, that's going to be two grams of leucine and one gram each of isoleucine and valine. This is the clinically proven research dosage and ratio of the branch chains. What BCAs do is they tell your body to stop breaking down muscle tissue and start building it back up. They stimulate muscle protein synthesis. So you're going from catabolism, which is breaking down muscle, breaking down muscle tissue uh, to anabolism, which is building it back up again. This is a, cr a critical signaling process and a big part of training is to break down muscle tissue and take your body to build it back up again. Uh, the dosage or the amount is a little on the lighter side, there's four grams. Ideally, we'd like to see five or six, but we will cover that uh, dosage ish issue a little further down in the blend. Uh, next up, we've got some Altorian. Now, we don't know the dosage of Taurine and then glutamine, three here. However, we've got a fairly good idea based on where they are. So I'd say there's a gram of taurine. Taurine is great for muscle hydration and muscular endurance. So it's gonna help sort of keep your cells functioning well and allow you to push harder for longer. Cell hydration is definitely a big component in terms of its performance. Reduce hydration, reduce performance. And there's a big correlation. So like 2% drop in hydration, looking at a 20% drop in performance. So avoiding that is definitely sort of a performance booster in itself. Alanine is an amino acid which boosts the absorbency of branch chains, so it's going to enhance their effect. So it's going to sort of amplify the effect of the leucine and the other branch chains to get a more dramatic recovery effect. Now, glutamine is one of the most abundant amino acids in the body. It's conditionally essential um, and is very uh, prominent in terms of our recovery and it's a big factor in immune health and digestive health as well. So getting a little extra glutamine is certainly not a bad thing at all. If you were protein deficient, you would also be glutamine deficient because glutamine is a big part of any complete protein source. So if you were say a uh, vegan or vegetarian, it's likely your glutamine levels will be a little on the low side. So having a little extra in there is certainly not a bad thing and it's definitely an advantageous in a amino acid recovery supplement. Next up, this is where this product gets really interesting. Anabolic protein synthesis complex. It's 150 megs of epicatogen and 5-alpha hydroxy laxogenin combined. Now, epicatogen is a extract of dark cow. It is a myostatin inhibitor. Or it inhibits follistatin, follistatin inhibits myostatin, which is a limiter of muscle growth. Now, the data on epicatogen is actually pretty good. It's good for improving blood flow to the muscles as well, which is a nice side effect, but it helps to sort of increase your growth potential. If you've ever seen those big uh, bluebell cows, those big juicy looking cows, uh, they have a myostatin deficiency. So anything that sort of leads towards that, is certainly a good thing. Uh, laxogenin, is a compound which increases muscle protein synthesis two to 300%. Um, in this dosage, it's, it's not gonna be as dramatic as taking it as a single ingredient. However, if you're taking a couple of serves, two to three scoops a day, the cumulative effect is certainly very good. You're gonna end up with quite a good dosage of it. And it's a, a nice bonus. Not hormonal, it doesn't have any test or estrogen interference whatsoever, and it just elevates protein synthesis. So you can turn more of your dietary protein and more of your amino acids back into muscle tissue. That's a really good thing. That's the whole reason that we want to take aminos in the first place is to utilize them as aminos for muscle recovery. So very cool, great addition to the product. And it's the only product that I've ever seen that has uh, laxogenin in it. Um, massive fan of the compound, very effective, safe to use indefinitely. 
and a really cool compound. And last but not least, the absorption, absorption enhancement matrix, which is some black pepper extract or some piperine and 10 megs. 10 megs is a high dose of that. It's gonna help your body break down and utilize the ingredients more effectively. We've got some flavors, some coloring and so on. And that's what's in it. So it is a pretty comprehensive amino acid product. It's got a, a nice amount of branch chains in there. It's got some absorption matrix in there, some things to help you digest it better. Uh, and it's got the addition of the laxogen and epicatogen to sort of promote anabolism and help your body to take in aminos and turn them back into muscle tissue. That's a win. Um, in terms of flavors, at present it comes in two flavors. We've got sour gummy worms, um, and then you've got cotton candy, which I've got here today. There is rumors of two more flavors, which are coming really soon. Uh, the new flavor, Southern Sweet Tea, so think like uh, Lipton Lemon Ice Tea, and a, it's either a fruit punch or a peach mango, to be confirmed. But we've got the cotton candy here today. We're gonna mix them up. Just scoop this here. Guys, there's not much left in this top, so I'm gonna have to go digging because everyone's been getting into this product. We'll take one serve, seven and a half grams, drop it in our spot up shaker, which is about 500 ml to 20 ounces. A standard test. No blendable. Smells amazing. All right, a few shakes. Let's see how this mixes up. Go nice and Pink colouring, uh, the pink's pretty good actually. Nice and clear, not a whole lot of sediment or anything like that. It's good. The flavour is really nice. Um, cotton candy to me tastes like a blend of like the sugar and a light watermelon flavour. Hard to describe but it's got that fairy floss candy flavour. Um, very good. Mm. I have tried the sour gummy worms as well. I personally like the, uh, the cotton candy better. It's something that's actually a treat that you look forward to. It's got that real sugary, dirty sort of flavor about it, like it's bad for you, but it's actually a really good formula. Um, so I'm a big fan. Looking forward to having more flavor options. There's only two at present, and they are sort of pretty unique. They're sort of candy gummy flavors, but Flavors are definitely uh, on point for this product. So uh, value for money wise, it is 60 served at 69.95, which makes it $1.16 a serve. Killer, killer value. Excuse the pun, but the value for money on this product is excellent. When you factor in the epicatogen and the laxogenin and the dosage of ingredients and the ratio used, I think the value for money on this product is a cut above. Um, to get a product that's anywhere nearish to like, you know, $1.20 ish or so, $1.50, uh, with a proven ratio of branch chains like that, not some crappy amino blend where you don't know what it is, and in tiny doses, is fantastic. Um, they've done a really good job with bringing out a great value for money product. So, I'm a big fan of this product. I think the dose is great, the ratio is great, the value is stellar. And this is suitable to have when you train. If you're gonna have it when you train, I'd recommend doing a heap scoop to make sure you get that five, six grams of branch chain. So like go a scoop and a half. Um, great to sip throughout the day. I've been sipping on this uh, all day. I like the flavors. I do think, however, you, you may cycle through, this, through, through, through flavors relatively quickly. Um, but it tastes so good, you're gonna drink it all day anyway. So. More flavors to come in the next few weeks. That'll be a nice addition to it, but Brew PCA absolutely gets my tip of approval. We're big fans of it. The whole crew likes it. Um, good value, awesome formula, good flavors. Really couldn't ask for much more. Uh, it's available now. It's by Sops.com, $69.95. Free shipping anywhere in Australia, $9.95 worldwide. Um, that wraps it up. It's off the view one. Brew BCAA. Done. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below, drop a comment with your feedback, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Patrick from SpartanSops.com, and I'm out.